Welcome back to our Two Minute Tuesdays with Trish and Pastor Dave. Yay! <laughs> two minute, two, two, two. So today we got a question from a special person. Yay! Who's the special person? <laughs> Susan. Susan! Mm -hmm. We love you, Susan. Thank you so much. So Susan's question is, do we believe in universalism that everyone is saved? All right. You ready? You want salvation in two minutes? Start your clock. <laughs> okay. So. In the bad old days, we used to think we were able to tell who's going to heaven and who's going to hell, and we know exactly what that means, which was kind of wrong because sure. we don't get to decide that, right? We're kind of making God's choices for God. Yeah. And only God decides that. And by the way, the criteria in scripture are sort of muddy. So people who say they know for sure are kind of co-opting the scripture for their own purposes. Yeah. That's bad. Mm -hmm. In response to that kind of, and in response to some decent theology actually, mm -hmm. they came up with universalism, which is, hey, we're all going, which actually sounds a lot better and may be, and may be true, yeah. but it has the same flaw as the first one we're kind of making God's decision for God. I mean, yeah. whether I say I'm going and you're not, vice versa, or we're both going, we just proclaimed what only God can say. Right. So yeah. we don't tend to do either. We say, we do what we do here and God loves us and then God gets to choose and we have no control over that choice. Sure. However, there is a caveat mm -hmm. and that is this. It's a lot better to treat someone as if they were beloved, saved, whatever you want to say, going to heaven, however you describe it. If you treat someone like that, even if they're not, you've done to the good, right? If you're not going, but I still treat you the same, like I love you, that's to the good. If you are beloved or whatever, and I treat you like you're not, that's bad. Mm -hmm. God's not happy with that. So even though we don't know, it still behooves us and it's the right thing to do to treat everyone like God's beloved child as if we were going to live together with them forever and ever and forever begins now. So I treat you just like you were the most beloved person in the world. Sure. I really like that word behoove. Behoove, yes. <laughs> I got it from the horse. I got, look, look, behoove. Behoove. <laughs> yes, well, if you have your own questions, we would love to answer them. And Absolutely. yeah, so thank you, Susan, for sending in your own question. And we will see you next week for our next lovely question. So what about the good place? The good place I like. They weren't trying to be, they, they let us know right away that they weren't trying to substitute stuff, uh, which made everybody relax and go, okay, I don't have to take this show, show that seriously. Uh, I, if Ted Danson uh, shows up when I am, yeah, I, I'm okay with that. Me too, I would be. <laughs> and also technically, if there's a Janet, I'm really okay with that because I have kind of a crush on her. So uh, yeah, I, I'm hoping for that one.